Good morning, guys. Another day, day four of our trip. And I made it last night, as you saw, to Price Canyon. It was quite late and I was setting up in the dark, but at least I had a good night of sleep. And right now I having a breakfast and quickly gonna start packing and head out to nearest town because I cracked my uh, chain guard. I, bought, I just bought that thing, it's a rugged road and didn't even do any off-road yet and it cracked just on the highway. Quite interesting. Uh, it cracked right where it was bent on the welds. So I'm gonna see if I'm gonna be able to find somebody that uh, has a alum that does aluminum welding and uh, I will take it from there. Hopefully they can fix that because it would kind of suck if there is no chain guard on the bike. So I'm having my coffee and from here I've got about just slightly over an hour or less to Moab. So for breakfast today, I have a tuna and eggs. That should keep me, keep me satisfied for a little while, except the bread is kind of squished. <laughs> I put it in a pannier and squished it up yesterday. Bummer. Only if that eggs would start boil already. Now I have to go to Pierce to see if I can get the chain guard welded, hopefully. If not, it might be tomorrow, but I'm not sure if that's gonna last on one uh, clip. All right, now I gotta check everything, make sure I didn't leave anything behind. That looks good. I got to see what's the elevation that was here. 7,834 feet. No wonder it was uh, chilly in the morning. But now the sign is shining. Still quite a ways down. I can see the highway far away. So now I know why that road was so crunchy last night, because there's gravel on top of the asphalt. Ten minutes already going down and this is steep of course you will not be able to see on the camera oh wow and I was there all the way up there all the crap because I could see that mountains with the snow right from across from my tent
that's the Texas gate with that big crack in the middle you could when you fall there it could be fatal because the tire will actually fit right in the middle of that uh, metal plates good thing I caught it last night I thought I'll be riding here on the sunrise, but I was so tired yesterday, I had to get some sleep. I was riding all day in that heat, close to a thousand kilometers, and from here I got only 131 miles to Moab. Somebody's having a bad day, first thing in the morning, cops are chasing him. A lot of people are speeding here. The speed limit is 60. Approaching the exit in price to Twisted Metal. That's the name of the place. That's my exit up ahead to 41. is taken care of it's all welded together and back on thank you to Kansas that's the what he goes by and twisted metals here in Pierce very nice guy helped me out uh, right away if you guys need anything on the road and you are around the um, Pierce area Give him a shout. I'll put a link below in the description. This way he can make a couple bucks and you guys be happy and on the road. He welds aluminum and metal as well. So now 114 kilometers to Moab. through the desert here looks like there's a little oasis on this on the right and on both sides I got mountains that's the thing here 
people in Utah, right, with no helmets. That's weird that this helmet can be optional. I can't even imagine. I know it is hot wearing a lid, but at the same time, it gives you a little bit of peace of mind that there is something to protect your noggin. A lot of washouts on uh, both sides. That's probably gushing water when there is uh, flash floods because that's very common here after heavy rainstorms even though even though there isn't too much rain but uh, yeah they, it comes once in a while and heavy uh, what is it a couple years ago that's when Moab uh, was flooded and that was all flash floods coming down the mountains Sorry, I gotta correct myself here. When I was saying Pierce, it's not a Pierce, it's Price. That's where I was. I just clicked it for some reason. I don't know why it came to my head that I called it Pierce. If it's actually Price, Utah. That's where I had the work done with uh, Twisted Metal. And uh, yeah, so gotta make that small correction. Not many bikes, we've seen only maybe three or four today, so far, and uh, two of them were Hardys, one cruiser and one here adventure bike finally. finally. Another eight miles on I-70 to exit to Moab, so not much further to go. It was nice actually to get on the interstate again for a little bit and pull off. And not much wind, but uh, you still get the breeze when you ride, and especially that the speed limit is 80. That keeps you cooler. But look at the beauty of this state. This state is beyond, beyond beautiful. And you would think after being here for a fourth time, you sh don't appreciate that anymore. I don't think I ever get enough of it, to be honest. What the wind and water can do over uh, millions of years. Those rocks are completely eroded. And the high winds that are happening here, rains, they do those sculptures. Sitting to Moab. Canyon lands to my right. Moab's airport. Not the biggest thing. I think it's more for tours and stuff like that. Yeah, I can't believe that they're still working on that road. I was here last year with the family, with my trailer, or I should say camper trailer. They were working on that road and it uh, looks like they're working on it still. That town is quite busy with all the off-roading. Everybody's pulling some kind of a toy in the back.
nice when you get here. That's a nice welcome when you come into Moab. Arches National Park. I want to see if there's a lineup. Yes, there is. And it's off season. Never fails. Look at that. People are lining up every time to see that. Three years ago, uh, on the Utah playlist, you can see some of it. And also, last year, I went with a family here. So you can always uh, track back on my channel playlist. And you can find uh, the Arches National Park if you want to see it. Because this time we will not be doing any parks, most likely. With the exception of Canyon Lands. If that's going to happen. Uh, if we're going to go and finish the White Rim Trail. Because we will be doing totally something else. Um, most of the trails that are really, really close here in Moab. <laughs> 